how do you get a business from concept to cash flow? So there's a there's a book, um, Amar Bide, B H I D E. Uh, he's at Harvard. I, when he wrote the book, I think he's at Tufts now. But he he studied the Inc. 500 fastest growing companies for 20 years. Mm. So he took all the data on the Inc. 500 fastest growing companies over 20 years, and and there's a bunch of really great nuggets he pulled out of that. But the one that I that resonated with me, and I, you know, I, when I read it, I couldn't believe it. Eighty five percent of the CEOs on that list, eighty five percent, claim they were either the only or primary salesperson in the organization at startup. Wow, wow. So if you don't, if you want to grow your business, you, the entrepreneur, you have to be a sales. I, I was the primary salesperson in our organization for 15 years. That was all I did. That's what I did. Mm. And, and, and there, you know, I was proud of it. I mean, that I was going to grow this business. That was what I was going to do. If you don't have that mentality, you're, I mean, so t- sales to me is business, period. Mm. The smartest people in the organization, in my opinion, is the sales team. Why? Because they're interacting with the customer and they're figuring out why the customer is buying or why the customer isn't buying. Yeah. And that's all that matters. You can have all kinds of product people, right? Yep. Trying to develop a better and new product. If they aren't getting the information from the sales team on how to improve the product, it's just a huge miss. And, and it is remar- I, I teach a class at University of Michigan on entrepreneurship, right? This sort of an entry level entrepreneurship class. And one of the messages, it, that we say, I, I co teach with another guy is, you know, finding the customer is absolutely quintessential to the startup. Mm. And finding the customer simply means selling to the customer, right? Like, and so it is to me, it is, it is so important for everyone who wants to start a business. You know, the, the title of my book was going to be Sell More. Sh- <laughs> period. <laughs> if you want to be an entrepreneur, s- sell more. Sh- but that's it. And, and the, the, the publisher would That'll be the second edition. <laughs> That'll be the second edition. <laughs> yeah, volume two. I'll sell, I'll so, sell a lot more books with that title. Yeah. Uh, Ma- Ma- Michael, how do you facilitate that? Like, like operationally, like how do you facilitate, you mentioned the, the sales, getting the information back to the product team. And obviously you've got a very strong product and you have a lot of people out there, 250 locations selling this product. How are you, how do you facilitate that in a way that scales, I guess would be the question. Yeah. A million dollar question, right? That's, the, I mean, that's the million dollar question. And, and you know, the, the thing is, is people have this notion of what a salesperson is hmm. that they're, you know, there's some kind of slick glad hander, good looking, <laughs> you know, quick wit. Well, I don't uh, know. Luke, you know. Luke is a sales guy. <laughs> good looking. <laughs> Absolutely. He's a sales guy. He? Well, so, but you know, nothing's further from the truth, frankly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, to me, you just got to build a mechanism. And, and it's about refining that mechanism. And that mechanism is, is you, you, you feed leads into the top of that mechanism. The mechanism flow, you know, takes that lead and kicks out deals. And, and so your job as the entrepreneur is to perfect the mechanism and then spend your whole life trying to feed the top of that funnel leads, mm-hmm. right? And, and so you know, to me, that, that's not typically how people think about sales. Right, they think about sales as, as some kind of a, a magical thing that an individual has to be a good salesperson. Okay, and 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 I don't I don't think I don't that doesn't resonate with me at all. What resonates with me is is you build a machine, you build a mechanism that handles leads and flows leads through a process, and then you you tweak, you change, and then you watch the results. Mm-hmm. Right, and 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 the results are what matter. That's so good. And there's such a golden nugget there for people is like most of us, when we do sales, we think of it like we're just talking to somebody and convincing them to buy our product. And it's all about the pitch, right? And those type of things. Not saying the pitch is not important, but what you're breaking down is if you want to grow a massive organization, if you just want to grow an organization that lasts five, 10 years, you need a scalable and repeatable process. 